Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Star Lord. I hope that you're all having a fantastic day and uh, yeah, I'm having a pretty good one myself, so thank you very much. Uh, but basically, in today's video, what we're going to be doing is looking at five different items slash weapons that are coming to Fortnite Battle Royale sometime very, very soon. And uh, these ones are very interesting. I guarantee that uh, some of you guys may have not have heard about three of them. And uh, yeah, they're going to blow your mind. And especially, they're going to change the way Fortnite Battle Royale is played massively because some of these things are just absolutely crazy. I cannot wait till I get added into the game. And uh, yeah, we're going to be talking about each one of them individually in today's video. Uh, but now, before we do get into today's video, guys, please do not forget to leave a like if you do end up enjoying it. And also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for four Fortnite glitches guides videos and videos just like this one right here. And also, check in the description. I've got a V-Bucks giveaway going on. Click it and it'll give you all of the information that you need to know. Uh, but other than that, let's get into talking about these five different items slash weapons coming to Fortnite Battle Royale. Uh, so the first one that we're going to be talking about is actually a trap, or it's been assumed that it's going to be a trap. Uh, so basically what this is called is the Mimic Chest, and uh, some of you guys who actually have the Fortnite game, which is the original game, may actually remember what this is. Except in Fortnite Battle Royale, it's going to be a little bit different. So basically, when you get into Fortnite, which is the original game, not the Battle Royale portion, you can actually find chests around the world that are fake, and once you open them up, they they actually turn into a kind of zombie with a chest as a head that wants to try and bite you and it chases you around the map. Now, it's really strange, they obviously wouldn't add that into Fortnite Battle Royale because obviously the Fortnite Battle Re Royale game is not in all kind of associated with the original game, uh, but basically what this is, is that Fortnite are actually testing this trap right now, where basically what you can do is either replace a chest or place a new chest down in an area of your choosing that basically explodes once somebody actually opens it. Hence being a mimic, you know, it's basically a fake chest. The minute that the person actually opens it, it'll explode, probably taking around about, I would assume... 75 HP or maybe even a hundred if they're generous, which I think they should do um, So yeah, that is actually one of the newer traps that have been leaked from the in-game files and probably one of the only ones because Honestly, they haven't really added any sort of trap into this game since they removed the electric zapper from the walls and the ceilings and I don't really think they know how to balance these things correctly. Like, I think they're genuinely scared to add in more traps into the game because they don't know exactly what to do, how they would go about it. But honestly, to me personally, I think that this trap right here, the Mimic Chest, would be perfect. It would work. It wouldn't be too OP. And, you know, it would actually make players actually be a little bit more aware of their surroundings. Maybe the chest would have something different about it that would kind of give off a little tiny hint that this could potentially be a trap chest or something like that. I don't know. Uh, now, before I do actually get into the second item on the list, uh, don't forget, guys, whichever one is your favorite out of all of these, comment it down below. I would love to know what your guys' favorite is. At the end, I'll probably tell you what mine is. Uh, so, yeah, it would actually be kind of cool to see how many people's uh, opinions are different on these new items. Yeah, but the second one that we're going to be looking at is definitely one that not a lot of people have heard about. And again, I don't actually have any concept art of this, but it is uh, the decoy grenade. Yes, a decoy grenade, which basically is a grenade that you throw on the floor and it will spawn a fake version of yourself that will run in a straight line and start shooting. Now, if you guys don't already know exactly what this is, I would assume that some of you guys have played Halo in the past. And in Halo, you could actually get a kind of perk ability that would basically allow you to to place a decoy of yourself. So basically it's like a hologram, but it looks exactly the same as any other player. Uh, and basically it would run in a straight line and sometimes I believe it would even shoot. Now basically this is what Fortnite developers want to do. They actually want to introduce a grenade into the game that basically spawns a fake version of yourself when you throw it and it'll run into a straight line. And uh, again, it's a very weird one. I personally don't think I would use it a lot myself, but I do feel that a lot of people would fall for this and a lot of people would give away their positions and kind of uh, start shooting at like the hologram version. Now, unfortunately, we don't actually know whether the hologram will have 
uh, health or shield. Like, I would hope it did, because obviously, like, if you throw something down, you want it to be worthwhile. So what I would assume is that you throw down this dude, uh, and basically, it would have 100 health and 100 uh, shield. So basically, when the person's shooting at them, it doesn't instantly kind of fall to the floor and die. Basically, like, they think, oh, dude, this guy's stupid, he's still running while I'm shooting him. Uh, whereas, you know, whilst that dude shooting at your hologram, you could actually just get the drop on him and uh, try and get at him. So yeah, I think it would be really stupid if the Epic, uh, or you know, if Epic Games actually did this, if they if they basically made it where it was one shot, like, and it would disappear, because obviously that wouldn't be worthwhile, that wouldn't be long enough for you to get the drop on the guy that you want to. So uh, yeah, if any Epic employees are watching this or anything like that, Please make sure that it is at least 100 health or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, let's move on to the next item on the list, which is actually our first weapon, I guess. And uh, a lot of people actually already know about this. It's been rumored for a long time now, and that is on screen right now. And it is the P90 submachine gun. Now, this has been leaked a long time ago. It got leaked with a load of weapons. And up until now, we haven't really heard anything about this weapon. And unfortunately, when we actually look at the challenges that are in the in-game files, it seems like they're not going to be getting rid of silenced SMGs at all for the remainder of this season. Because obviously, there are a couple of challenges that we need to use uh, to actually have a silenced weapon. Which, you know, if you only had a silenced pistol, it would be a little bit unfair, I would imagine, I guess. Now, the big question here is, when is this submachine gun going to be announced? Well, personally for me, I think that this is going to be the next assault rifle, or sorry, submachine gun, to be announced into Fortnite Battle Royale. Of course, they've just added in a brand new assault rifle. And I think the only thing that is missing from this game right now is yet another SMG. I mean, yeah, if I'm looking at the SMGs right now, we've basically only got the P90, uh, sorry, the silent submachine gun, and uh, the normal submachine gun. Other than that, I would assume that, yeah, we need one more. So I think, genuinely, the next weapon that would be released into Fortnite Battle Royale will most likely be the P90, because we kind of just need another kind of assault rifle in the game, a, uh, sorry, and a submachine gun, and we definitely need one that is better than, like, you know, a rare or something like that. We need, like, a, a purple one. I know we've got a purple TAC SMG, but I don't know, maybe we need a gold one or something like that. I don't know, but, you know, we have been waiting for this a long time, and I think that, yes, it would definitely do us a lot of help if this was added into the game. It would especially counter the shotguns, definitely. So, yeah. Uh, the next one that we're going to be moving on to is actually one that is brand new leaked straight from the game game files. And this is the Medic Backpack. This is basically a backpack, a part of the new item set that the Fortnite developers are adding into this game. So, for example, you know, the Jetpack is a backpack. Uh, the Eye of the Storm is going to be a, jet, uh, a backpack. And, uh, yeah, the Medic Backpack is also going to be one of those that are going to be added into the near future. Now, unfortunately, we don't know what kind of rarity this is going to be, but we can assume that it is going to be very rare, only because of what it actually can do. Now, it has been kind of rumored, and a lot of people have been saying that this medic backpack will basically instantly revive your teammates, or maybe even give you a second chance at life itself. So basically, imagine something like, oh god, what would it be? Like, from Call of Duty, if you get downed, you can get back up again, or, you know, you get like an extra kind of life or something like that, I don't know. But basically, this medic backpack could work as one of those, and honestly, I feel like it would work better as an instant revive for your teammates. So, for example, if you wanted to be a medic in the game, you could sacrifice one of your weapon slots for this backpack, and if any of your teammates go down, if you know that you're the more reliable one to stay alive, maybe you could very quickly go over to them, defibrillate them, and actually bring them back to life quicker than it would be when you're actually healing them. So, uh, yeah, it's actually very interesting about this, and I believe from the actual in-game files itself, it's being leaked that this has multiple uses too, so that's really, really interesting, and I definitely cannot, cannot wait until this gets added into the game itself. Now, the last item that we're going to be looking at is one that uh, has been talked about over the last couple of weeks, and uh, that is the Der Burger items. It is looking more and more increasingly kind of uh, common, or I guess uh, apparent, 
different, I guess, yeah, that we are going to be seeing these items in the game. And uh, basically what these are is, one is a burger that you will eat, and it will actually regenerate your health. So basically, imagine the apples, okay? Imagine that, like, the apple you pick up, it gives you 5 HP. Well, let's say, for example, this burger that you find somewhere on the floor, you pick it up, and it will give you uh, 10 HP. That is basically how these items are going to work, and there are from Der Burger themselves. Um, other than that, we do also have a drink that is going to be added into the game from Der Burger that will replenish your shield, presumably 10 kind of p bits of your shield, I guess, 10 HP of your shield. And also, we have a brand new item that is going to be coming along with this, and that is the hot sauce, which is going to work as a quick step juice. Yeah, that is right. You heard me correctly. Quick step juice. Basically, what happens is once you consume the hot sauce, you are able to run faster for a certain amount of time within the game. This is still in early access kind of uh, testing, I can imagine, with the in-game files. Uh, so basically, I can imagine that in the private servers of Fortnite Battle Royale right now, a lot of the developers are still working out whether this is going to be added into the game or not. But it seems like, honestly, they're making a lot of progress on the on these. Uh, you can just see by the in-game files themselves that every couple of weeks, they're getting updated. They're getting more things thrown into them and kind of getting additional items put in. So it looks like all of this stuff is most likely going to be coming to Fortnite Battle Royale sometime within the season or maybe just the start of the next season itself. Uh, but anyway, guys, I hope that you enjoyed today's video of the top five items that are coming to Fortnite Battle Royale. If you did, don't forget to leave a like on the video and also comment down below what your favorite item is out of all of these that came out or are coming out even. Uh, personally, for me, I honestly like the Mimic Chest. I think that would be such a really cool thing in the game. And I just think that it needs a brand new trap added because we haven't had one we've had countless items and kind of weapons added but not a new trap so that would be really cool if they did add that in uh, but anyway guys have an awesome day thank you very much for watching and until next time i've been star lord oh see ya